In this series, I will explain about one of the perceptions, the audition. The audition part is divided into two chapters, the inner ear and auditory central nerve system. We will start with the inner ear. The inner ear chapter will divide into two parts. The first part contains from hearing to hair cells. The second part contains from more details of the hair cell to hearing loss and treatment. Okay, let's start with hearing. Human experience is enriched by our ability to distinguish a remarkable range of sounds. Humans can detect sounds in frequency range from about 20 Hz to 20 kHz. We can recognize a small difference in sounds thanks to our cochlear capacity. The ear can be anatomically divided into external ear, middle ear, and inner ear. External ear capture mechanical energy, which is the sound wave. Arico plays role as a reflector that captures the sound and focus into the meteus and tympanum. The middle ear transmits airborne sounds to cochlea by vibration of three bones, which is malleus, incus, and stapes. The inner ear, which is cochlea, transduces the mechanical information to the electrical signal. Cochlea has three liquid field compartments called scala vestibuli, scala tympani, scala media. So, how hearing works with the ear? When the sound wave hits the tympanum, the vibration transmits to the malleus, incus, and stepes. At the end, the stepes change the pressure that propagate throughout the liquid of the scala vestibuli at the speed of the sound in one direction. This propagation causes the movement of basilar membrane like up and down movement by the wave of the boat on the ocean. This is the first step how the hearing works. But how the oscillation of the basilar membrane can explain that human ear can discriminate the broad range frequency of the sound. This is because the basilar membrane is not just straight line nor just plain structure. This unique structure of basilar membrane can explain how the mechanical information transduced to the hair cells. The basilar membrane can distribute specific stimulus energies due to the structure which has different mechanical properties. On the base of the basilar membrane responds to high frequency and on the apex of the basilar membrane responds to low frequency. The transduction from mechanical information to electrical information causes on the organ of the corti. The main parts of the organ of the corti are basilar membrane, hair cell, and tectorial membrane. Organ of corti is the receptor organ that extending along the basilar membrane. Each organ of corti contains approximately 16,000 hair cells innervated by approximately 30,000 afferent nerve fibers, which carry information to the brain. Hair cell and auditory nerve fibers are tonotopically organized, and this is really important feature of auditory system. We will discuss more details on next part of the inner ear chapter. Hair bundles on the hair cells are the receptor for mechanical stimuli. Okay, now how the hair bundles get mechanical information from basilar membrane. To explain this mechanism, we need to understand the shearing. The definition of the shearing is to the occurrence of the shear strain, which is the deformation of the material substance in which parallel internal surface slide past one another. Okay, it's too complicated. So let's bring some really simple example. Let's imagine there's a base, a column, and a roof. When the earthquake happens, the base are moving and also the column. However, the roof doesn't follow exact movement with the base movement. At the end, their tilted structure occur. 
Yes, this is the shearing movement. When the basilar membrane moves, the hair bundle of the hair cell that are connected to the tectorial membrane deflect. This is the mechanical stimuli for the hair cell. The hair cells receive the mechanical stimuli by the shearing motion and deflection. But not all the hair cells receive the mechanical stimuli by the shearing motion. Only the outer hair cell are connected to the tectorial membrane, but not the inner hair cells. The hair bundle of the inner hair cells are deflected by the flu of the liquid in the scholar. Okay, what happened then after the hair cell received the mechanical stimuli? The hair cells have unique gate mechanism. Many other ion channels respond to the changes in membrane potential or to specific ligands. But the hair cells, the mechanoelectrical transduction channels, are activated by mechanical strain. This is called gating springs, which is deflecting the bundles goes into elastic elements that pull on the molecular gates of the transduction channels. This gating spring mechanism is really fast procedure. Many other sensory receptors like pottery receptor or olfactory neurons use cyclic nucleotides or other second messengers in stimulus transduction. The advantage of this transduction is that a second messenger which amplifies the signal and gives the feedback within the metabolic pathway readily permits adaptation and desensation. Without those, like hair cells, the advantage is the speed. The speed is really important for hair cell to deal with the frequency of biological relevant sound and using the sound arrival time difference, which is delay to localize the sound. Thank you for watching. That's all for the inner ear part one. The inner ear part two will start from more details about our complicated friend hair cell. See you then.